Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, you like this video, and hit the uh, notification bell. And we are here in, where are we? We're in Little Harrow, Ontario. <laughs> and we're standing here with Cassidy, and she's a real estate agent in this area, but she's not just a put a sign on the lawn, white picket fence real estate agent. She is a investor-oriented real estate agent, mostly like myself, okay? So just kind of want to get your backstory on why you went down that path to be a, uh, an investor-oriented realtor instead of the 80% masses of just normal real estate agent following that other one. Why'd you do that? Well, my partner Matt and I started investing in real estate about four years ago, and when we got started, we found we found an agent that um, you know was investor-oriented in a way, meaning he worked with more investment properties, um, but we weren't really able to find someone who was really in it for um, you know for finding a good deal and for helping us discern what a good his deal is commission check pretty much yeah exactly yeah and what i found too is that all the people i was meeting were also looking for all the courses i was taking and everything they would always recommend find a realtor, Investor, realtor. who knows investments right so um yeah i figured we're buying houses anyway why don't i get my license that's how i started and i figured oh you know i just do our deals and maybe pick up a couple others, mm -hmm. but um, turns out investment realtors are in high demand, so we're working with lots of investors. Well, and in I talk area. about it on the channel, guys, like pick a niche. So you don't just wanna be a realtor, you wanna be a niche realtor. It's gonna get you a lot of business in your first year because like you said, you're in high demand. So why would you wanna just do the normal stuff? Maybe there's people that have been doing it for 20 years and that's pretty hard to beat them. But if you're a subject matter expert right away in investment properties, you can make a lot of money like right away and you're the knowledge. And I think a lot of guys and girls can relate to you're buying properties, why not just be the realtor, right? Mm -hmm. So did, yeah. did any other clients pull you back from like your path? A little bit. It's um it's definitely it's a busy life as a realtor for sure. So you just I mean like when you're self-employed in any way, you gotta be really careful about your schedule, yeah. right? And you gotta make sure you're making time for um, for what you need to do in your own business with your own properties, but um, it all ties together really nicely. It's also a great way, when you're an investor and a realtor, it's a great way to expand your network too, which also helps with your mm -hmm. investment portfolio. And Cassidy has a new channel with her partner Matt, and make sure you guys are gonna subscribe to it. I will have it in the description, but within your within Windsor area, down in southwestern Ontario, you guys made a group in your first pretty much year, two years of being an agent, right? Yeah, it's called the Wind City Investors Club, and we meet monthly just to network and uh, you know play cash flow game. It's a lot of fun. So, and I always talk about that too on the channel or the cash flow to go game or show, show that you should make a group, have meetups like Matt. McKeever and I are at meetups all the time. I'm sure if you're watching some previous videos, you saw us in Toronto, Kitchener, now we're wherever we are, Harrow. <laughs> and we're just always meeting people and it's just amazing to build the network, and have a community. If I have a deal, I can shoot it over to Cassidy, that kind of stuff. So, uh, Any other tips for the new real estate agent who's gonna be an investor oriented? How do you find, how, how do you get your guys these good deals? Well, th I think the biggest piece is the networking. Like it's all, I found that networking. the best deals all have all come from my personal network, right. just knowing more people in the space. So we go to so tons true. of networking events and just get to know as many people in the real estate, um, in the real estate field as you can. Yeah. yeah. So no, I 100% agree with that. It doesn't just happen. There's no like, you're not just out there on the MLS sometimes you gotta like, find it on the underground MLS a bit, meet a lot of contacts, meet landlords, meet property managers, invite them out to your Win City group. So that's yeah. fantastic. Uh, thank you so much. You're gonna see way more of her in the future. Make sure you go over and subscribe to her right now. And if you haven't subscribed to me, make sure you do. Hit the like button and share on social media. Also, make sure you're following me and my, at the moment, 10,000 Instagram subscribers over on Instagram, at Jeff Weibo and we will catch you on the next video. Thank you guys.